Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Yum Chums. On this episode, we're doing a, another subscription box. I purchased this on CrateJoy.com, and it's a Indian-themed subscription box from Indifix. There's the box right there. I like the design. I mean, it has some effort put into it. We've gotten some subscription some subscription boxes <laughs> with no effort put into it. <laughs> oh, man. But, it's heavy. It is very heavy. Your Indian snack fix has arrived. This actually arrived today, like a couple hours ago. So, so let's do it. Let's open it. If it's expired, it's not our fault. Yeah, it came in today. For the first time. <laughs> okay. Ooh, a receipt. So this is what it looks like when you first comes in. Welcome to your Indifix experience. Thanks for trusting Indifix to bring the most popular Indian snacks to your doorstep. As an Asian American woman owned business, we are grateful for your support. In your OG fix, you will find 12 plus addition. What is the OG fix? That's, I think that's the type of box this is. OG? Yeah, like I could get like a deluxe box, a regular box, which is the OG, or like a dessert box or something. Oh, okay. Um, in your OG fix, you'll find 12 plus delicious snacks, um, especially curated to satisfy your every craving. Be it sweet, savory, or spicy, all snacks are 100% vegetarian and 200% yummy. <laughs> We are always looking to make your end of face experience better, and we'd love to hear from you. So, let's see. 200% Another card. Yummy. It's just a, like a... Okay. They donate to an Indian child when you buy a box. So, vacuum sealed... I don't, I don't even know if this is... It's methy. I don't... Yeah. Well, it says that, but I don't know what that is. Okay. Whole wheat... What? There's no guide. There's no guide. Whole so. wheat crisps with fenugreek leaves. Okay. Not mad at it. I mean, at the description. It is. That is vacuum sealed tight. You might need the razor blade. Oh no. Nope. Just crumbs everywhere. Well, it is super. It's oh, like it's like dough. that's what I was just about to say. Oh, I like it. I'm. You gonna take a whole thing? Oh, I was. I was kind of going to, but because I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> there are crumbs everywhere. So this is just what is it? Wheat and leaves. Don't get me like, <laughs> I kind of love stuff like this. This is tasty. It's just, it's nothing. A little bit of, like tzatziki. I had a piece like fly out of my mouth when I said that. I would. <laughs> I prefer like the. I mean, it's not bad, but I prefer the um, like the um. What are those things called? Now I can't even think. The like seaweed stuff. Oh, like nori snack. Yeah, nori. This is good. It's just it's leaves. I like it. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm gonna try to I do everything. Vacuum <laughs> seal. Look at that thing. I'm gonna try to do savory first. Gup shup peanuts. I'm sorry. What is it called? Gup shup peanuts. Spicy coated peanuts. Delightfully scrumptious snack to binge. On any time, on any time of the day. Hey, let me let me read it the way it's supposed to be. Delightfully, delightfully scrumptious snack to binge on any time of the day. Okay. Feel how heavy this is. See, it makes sense once you read it. Correctly. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of heavy. It feels like it weighs about. If you ever had like a bag of peanuts, 
I've had a bag of peanuts before. Once or twice in my life. Are they spicy? Yeah. I think one will do me. One will do me too, but those are actually the texture. Like they have like a crunchy bit, like outside. That's not like a peanut. I, don't I like that. I don't think that's a peanut. No, it is. It's a peanut coated with. Oh, okay. So there is a coating. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's a that's a spicy meatball. How many times do you think you're gonna do an Indian accent? That was only once, and it slipped out, so I won't do it. And it again. wasn't even good. Yeah, because it slipped out. Um, we should have brought like water to this. No, no, it's fine. It's gone. I'm getting weird. Oh, it weird, does say spicy coated peanuts. Okay, I wasn't listening to you. Weirdly old bay vibes. No, not at all. It's a spicy peanut. Is that coffee or tea? Is this coffee? Yeah, this is coffee. Premium holiday dude. <laughs> holiday dude. Golden milk. <laughs> that is that, that is D O O D H dude. You know. Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, we can't have this. Okay, so a couple things we can't have right now. Sure we can. You never eaten ramen noodles? With just sprinkling the seasoning on it? I know people that do, but no. Yeah, I've done that. This people is Robin still noodles. do it? Yeah. You know people that still do it? I mean, back in high school. Classic masala noodles. Yippee. That's what it's called. Look at him. He's happy. He's a, a son. Are we good? Do we want to yeah, eat this? Yeah, eat the noodles with the seasoning on it. Tear it. Like a... No Look, it's got the little... Oh, it has a tear strip? Yeah, every part of it. So, am I going to be sprinkling the seasoning on it? Yes. That's how you do this. Well, I figured. Otherwise, it would just be dry noodles. JT? You do this on purpose. I'm not. It's... It... Stop. Not on purpose. <laughs> There's a table to hold it over. It's too far. <laughs> Yo. Just a little, bro. Oh my gosh. Just it, bite it. Just bite it. You, you crumbled it into nothingness. <laughs> I mean... Tastes like like a like a curry, like a masala. You can't just say it tastes like what it says it is. I mean that doesn't count. It tastes curry like. It's very good. Is it? Curry curry esque. This brings back memories. <laughs> Not for me. I, I always all the time. I knew people that did. But I like to cook my noodles. It's a little spicy. Well, speaking of masala, here's the last savory thing. It is a little spicy. I kind of like it. Like, that would be good. Like, actually, like, room? hot and what? what? Are you going to run out of the room? What do you mean? Last time you ate something spicy, you just ran out of the room. What was it? Yeah, the jelly beans. Yeah. The bean boozled spicy. I wasn't ready. Oh, my God, it's spicy. No, that's, like, no, that's like not, like, crazy spicy. That's, like, a normal snack spicy. Like a flaming Hot Cheeto or something. Those jelly beans were intentionally meant to mess with you. Yeah, but the sriracha made you run out. So I had other people try it after you left, and it said the sriracha was the one of the most mild, and everybody else said the sriracha was spicier than the others as well. So, I don't know if maybe it was a lie or yeah, what. Maybe they were mislabeled. Alright. This is our last savory one. Speaking of masala, it is Here's India's that. Magic Masala. Lay's Chips. I'm here for it. We've got to love a Lay's chip. It's a ripple cut. Let me show you something. Do you see these things? Yeah, but I like to... Yeah, I don't like to do that. Why? I don't know. Do you see how long you struggle to open it when you don't do that? Do you see, like, the catastrophe that the bag is okay, now? Okay, are you planning on resealing the bag and putting it back? No. So it doesn't matter. We're good. 
They are good. They're I mean, pretty it's a, tasty. It's a chip, so. And I, unless it's cheese flavored, chips are usually pretty good. Okay. So what's next? So, oh, they share said, your box for a chance to be featured. Share it. Ooh, these are spicy too. I'm gonna share my box. Um, <laughs> I mean it like that. Darn it. Um, I was trying to say. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Four were savory. Then you had coffee, which is five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's definitely more than twelve in here. Well, are you counting both the coffees as individual? I was contemplating whether to do that and count them as individual or count them as one, but still there's more than twelve in here. Okay. First sweet thing. Where's the little thingy that you read the card? How'd you already lose it? We literally have like no space here. Oh, I found it. It says 12 plus. We got 12 plus. It just came out of you. Sorry, my, my <laughs> sinus is cleared from the spicy stuff. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 nice sugar sprinkled coconut cookies. Oh, yeah. Coconut. Let's do it. I'm down for it. I'm down like a clown. Oh, they look tasty. What about it looks so tasty? The little sparkly sugar sprinkles on it. Solid. Kind of, kind of bland, but in the best way possible. Yep. It's su <laughs> super coconutty, though. Like, in the back. That's the kind I would mess up that whole pack. It's really good. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like those co those crackers or cookies that you eat. Just you're just sitting there, and the next thing you know, whole pack's Ooh, gone. Spoon. You spoon them into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? just one by one. Just yeah. Let me get another, please. Yeah, we gotta move on. <sighs> oh, I've had something like this before. Britannia Little Hearts Classic. They look like little elephant ears with like a sugar in them. I think they kind of look like hearts. But aren't elephant ears called... Oh, they're cute. Look. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. This is about the blandest thing I've ever eaten. I love it. <laughs> it literally tastes like nothing. It's not supposed to. It's just sugar. It doesn't even taste like sugar. It tastes like nothing. I love it. I mean, it's not bad. It's just... It's nothing. Like, I can see the sugar on it, and it still tastes like nothing. As far as taste, I agree with you. But... That's a great texture. It's crunchy, but it has like air in it also. It's like uh, I put this to a styrofoam peanut. <laughs> no, like a little pastry. I mean, it's here. Let's try something strange. <laughs> Jira Goli cumin candy. This is going to be wonderful. Yeah, because who doesn't love candy? What you... I was trying to see the expiration date, but it, let's see. Look, it's like Fulja. We're not going to tell you when it expires. It could be 2012 or it could be 2022. I need to cut this. Do you? Yeah, there's no... Especially because they're like little balls. I don't want them everywhere. <laughs> they're mango powder, cumin, black salt, 
sugar, did I hold and it black up? pepper. I don't think I hold, held it up to the. You did. I did. But they're little. They're little balls covered in powder. Mango powder, dude. They are tiny. I'm scared. Oh my! That is incredibly unpleasant. Oh my! I still have four more in my hand. I'm not eating them. Oh my gosh. That is not candy. <laughs> it's stuck in my tooth. Oh my god. I need a coconut candy. That could no, be to watch no, we gotta move on. <laughs> um, that was rough. Cool. Next up. It's, it's like they try and like cover it up with the mango powder, but it's just straight. Like it's just like a ball tune. Nestle Munch. This is the most microscopic candy bar I do believe I have ever seen in my life. Even with your tiny little food collection? Yeah. Oh, I have some in the kitchen that I need to add to that. Like I got like a little You lunch. bought more? Yeah. You even said you weren't going to buy more. Yeah. You bought, you bought a Lunchable one? No, it can't, it was a surprise. It came with a Lunchable and a little Pez. Does the Pez work? No. It's a, it looks like a wafer. Why did you so aggressively? Because <laughs> I wanted to see how the how the break was. <laughs> it's your standard chocolate wafer. It's not bad. Nothing amazing about it. As though. far as Nestle goes, this tastes exactly like like um. Nesquik to me. A little bit. Or like the Nestle cereal. Have you ever heard anybody call it Nestle? Yeah, people, uncultured people. I've heard people call it Nestle, and I'm instantly offended. I don't know why. Okay. Next up, let's try these. It came with like five or six of these. They're called Melody Chocolatey. <laughs> and it has a little music note on it. Chocolaty. What you call me? What? Is it like a reason? A what? A reason. You know those candies? What's it called? A reason? Okay. What are they called? Am I pronouncing it wrong? No, you're pronouncing it wrong. A risen? Raisin? How's, How's it spelled? spelled? R I E S O N? Or R E I S O N? How is it spelled? You got it right. Oh, it's like toffee. But it like breaks apart. It's like not one. It's like a caramel -y chocolate sort of clay. But I like it. Yeah, <laughs> the flavor's good. But it's like as soon as you bite it, it crumbles apart. And I don't like that it's not a consistent. I'm still stuck on that reason thing. Have I been pronouncing it wrong? All right, first off, stop. You pronounce everything wrong. What is the most recent thing that we... Well, first off, I do remember pad of butter when I had to explain to you that it was pat of butter. But I feel like that's a... I feel like that's a common thing that people Yeah, because it looks like a little know. pad. But what... There was something recently that you said... Oh, you said it. And I was like... I'm glad I don't sure? remember. I was like, are you sure? And you're like, I've been saying it that way my whole life. I'm glad I don't remember. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up in the in those old text messages. Next up. Hopefully he just forgets. Nope. <laughs> A dried fruit, cheeky, chick, cheeky. Yeah, brittle. 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 Sugar, cashews, almonds, glucose, and pistachios. You have something on your face. Why is, why is that so funny? Did you see how panicked you got? I went to look at my face. You panicked. I didn't panic. Yes, you, okay. <sighs> Good thing it's on video. You panicked. There's nothing on your face. I just wanted to see how you would react. I love a good brittle. I don't. I don't care for brittle. It looks Except like for a nice brittle. little brittle. Brownie brittle. Have see. you had that? So brown, the brand brownie brittle, brittle, they have a lemon one with white chocolate chips and it's good. What is it called? 
Brownie brittle. Brownie biddle brittle. <laughs> That's all right. It's kind of basic. I would, I would continue eating that, though. I wish the nuts were salted. Or toasted. That's what it is. They're not toasted. It's actually... I like it. <laughs> for brittle. I'm not, I don't really care for brittle, but... This isn't bad. Got a good texture to it because it's so, so thin. Like paper. What paper are you using? This is not... Thin like paper. I it's mean, like a quarter inch thick. I mean, it's it's thin for brittle. It's thick enough to hold a freaking what is this? What nuts are these? Is that a cashew? It's thick enough to cover an entire cashew, and you're telling me it's as thin as paper. Isn't that like a sliced cashew though? That is a whole cashew. No, that's a half a cashew. But still. Mm -hmm. Well, there's an entire almond in there. It's at least the thickness of an almond. It's good, though. Regardless. Irregardless. Um, Irregardless? <laughs> anyway. This is the same brand as those coconut cookies that I want one, another one of. Um, Parlay G Gold Cookies. Look at that wholesome little child. That's a grown adult. I hope not. <laughs> Ooh, they're little little snackable cookies too. Actually, the next, the last couple things we have are all snackable cookies. What's a non-snackable cookie? Like a cookie from Crumble. So a giant cookie. You can't just snack on it. So is there an in between? Because you're talking about the difference of something this big to this big. I think a good, a better term would be like a, like a tea or coffee cookie. These are more of a biscuit. Yes. And they're good. Mm-hmm. This is like little shortbread cookies. Mm-hmm. Man, they love their bland. <laughs> so they either go ham on the spices by giving you Cuban candy or I mean, they give you a completely bland Maybe that's, maybe they, I don't know. No, that's where, like, this, all the spices come from, or came from. You know, I don't know of any specific Indian desserts or anything. I know of, like, curries and stuff like that, tikka masala, stuff like that. No, I don't know, yeah. I don't know any of any specific desserts, but I enjoy this. I mean, I do know that there's a lot of tea consumption and stuff, coffee consumption you're shaking the thing. My bad. <laughs> Alright, so what's next? Last two. Actually, let's pick. Chocolate or pineapple? Pineapple. Because it's going to be awful. Britannia Treat. That was another brand of something that we had. Yep. Crazy Pineapple. Oh, it's a sandwich cookie. I'm intrigued. It's going to be awful. I'm not a big fan of artificial pineapple flavor. Oh. Oh. How many more times are you going to do oh, that? Oh, that smell is just not what I was wanting. <laughs> Stop smelling it. Oh. It smells like... What does that smell Medicine. like? Medicine. No, it smells like a hookah. It tastes better than it smells, but I still don't like it. It is awful. It's got like a thick cream. Uh-uh. No, sir. I don't like it. But I would continue to eat them. I, would, it's one of those, I would not. It's one of those weird things that like isn't good, but you still eat them. If they have that brand <laughs> of sandwich cookie in another flavor, be it another fruit flavor or like... I don't know, coconut or raspberry or strawberry. I would eat that, but not that. All right, last thing. Same brand, Britannia, chocolate cream wafers. Wafer cookie. You know, you're only doing one accent. 
I'm surprised. I really thought you were going to at least do two more. You're like baiting me to do another one right I'm not now. baiting you. I just know how you are. Like when we did the British Street box, you did like every couple of seconds. Well, I, I mean, because I mean, I have British in my ancestry. Which you truly feel that, and this is crazy to me, you think that because you did a Ancestry or 23andMe or whatever, Ancestry. and you saw that you had, like, your great-great-great-uncle was from there, you think it's in your blood. Well, no, it's because I'm, like, 70-80% British. And you say it's in your blood, so you do this awful accent. It's not awful. Whoo! Oh. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like this. I like this a lot. The chocolate is good. It's chocolate wafer. Man, how do you not like a chocolate I don't wafer? like the chocolate flavor in this. Why? This is good chocolate. It's okay. Something wrong with you. All right. Well, we got to try this coffee. I'm not trying the coffee. We got to we got to try the coffee. I have one of those little Keurig K-cup things. No, we don't need This is not coffee. This is white. It says it's milk. milk. It's golden milk. It does not say milky anything. Holy dude. Golden. Mix one packet with hot water and stir. <clears throat> so it's dried milk. Really? It's yellow. It looks unpasteurized. It's pretty good, actually. I mean, the... Put a little bit on my hand. The method of consumption is not the That's good. That's good. No, no. Eat it. No, this is we're not doing a cinnamon challenge here. With no, dry it's, the, it's it'll Can you not make that sound? Eh. Big eye contact. You're like, look at my face. You have to make eye. You have to look at the camera and make eye contact while you did it. <laughs> it actually isn't that bad. I'd like. It'd be nice, to like sprinkled on like a cheesecake or something. Okay, we're done. Sprinkled. Sprinkle it on a cheesecake. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Come on. The coconut. The and coconut was the my favorite. Candy. The candy. Co- Easy. Yeah. Uh, 100% agreed. Also, but I also hated the pineapple cookie too. No, I wasn't even close. I'd say the Lay's chips and the coconut cookies. Yeah, the Lay's chips are really good. Just grab a coconut cookie, thank you. Those, those cookies don't even compare to how bad that candy is. Not even close. I'm gonna make my friends try that other candy. But this, this cookie. So yeah. It's a real MVP. That was Indie Fix. You changed um, the way you pronounce it. In Indie Fix, Indie Fix, whatever however you pronounce it. Um, love the packaging of the box. I think for the price, we got a decent amount of snacks, a good amount of savory to sweet. Yeah, that I like that. It's some boxes are just all sweet. All sweet. And by the end of it, you just want to die. Mm-hmm. Or your mouth is a desert. I had to take another bite of that cookie, sorry. But I would definitely recommend this box, especially if you haven't tried a lot of Indian food or you're just curious about like the snacks and stuff like that because um, it was a pretty good variety. It was. Some snacks that I really liked, some snacks that I did not like, but 
That's every subscription box. Every. <laughs> but I'm going to share my box for a chance to be featured on Indifix, of course. I don't know if I... I don't like if that I'm actually pronouncing it Indifix. I feel like it's Indifix. Cause it's but here's, indie. here's the thing, though. How... <laughs> How popular is that hashtag? <laughs> we'll see when this video goes live. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I haven't actually heard about this, but like, I I stumbled upon this box doing research of other snack boxes for us to try, and it looked interesting, and it's, I like the price. It's one of my favorite boxes that we've done. Yeah, personally, and even and even the design of the box is good. Yes, like we get some, you like, and you like the design well, I just box. don't like when we get a plain brown box filled with snacks. But hey. We've literally gotten a reused, like, Tupperware container full of candy yep. from some dude off eBay. Yep. So, like... <laughs> yeah, so, it's the small things. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd say the fact that they have a design on their box. That person couldn't even write anything. Couldn't even write a little message or something on the little Tupperware container. No, nope, like... just a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, so... Um, yeah, as always... We're the chums who try the yums. Peace. See you guys next time.